Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are exploring one of the most critical questions in modern warfare. Can America's stealth jets survive Iran's newly acquired Russian-made S-400 air defense system? With Russia officially transferring the S-400 to Iran, the military balance in the Middle East may be changing forever. The system has a reputation for being one of the most formidable air defense platforms in the world, and its presence in Iran could fundamentally alter how the United States and its allies approach future military operations in the region. The United States has long relied on its technological advantage in stealth aircraft to penetrate hostile airspace with minimal risk, but the S-400 is designed to challenge exactly that. Understanding how this system works, its capabilities, and its limitations is crucial to answering the big question of whether stealth jets like the F-35 and F-22 could effectively operate against it. The exterior of the S-400 system is as imposing as its reputation. A single battery is made up of multiple large transporter erector launchers mounted on heavy military trucks advanced radar vehicles, and mobile command posts. These components can be dispersed over wide areas, making it difficult for adversaries to target the entire battery at once. Each launcher can hold four enormous missiles, giving the system a visually striking presence on the battlefield. The radars, with their large rotating arrays, can detect targets at long ranges and high altitudes and their design allows them to function even in complex terrain. Compared to Iran's older air defense systems such as the outdated S-2, 100 or indigenous systems with limited range, the S-4, 100 represents a massive technological leap forward. Its mobility allows it to relocate quickly after launching missiles, making it harder for enemies to locate and destroy. This mobility, combined with the sheer scale of the launchers and radars, is part of what makes the system so feared. Inside the command vehicles, the S-400 is a hub of cutting, edge technology. Operators sit at sophisticated radar consoles and communication stations that display a constant stream of data from multiple sensors. These interior systems allow the crew to track hundreds of targets at the same time, determine which ones pose the greatest threat, and launch missiles in rapid succession. The environment is highly secure climate, controlled and shielded against electronic interference, ensuring that the operators can function even during intense jamming attempts. Though the interior is utilitarian rather than luxurious, every element is focused on efficiency and survivability in combat scenarios. Performance is where the S-4-100 truly sets itself apart. It can detect and track aircraft at distances of up to 600 kilometers and engage targets at ranges up to 400 kilometers, depending on the missile used. Its radars can operate on multiple frequencies, making it harder for stealth aircraft to evade detection. The system can engage targets at altitudes ranging from very low to extremely high, making it versatile against aircraft, drones, cruise missiles, and even some types of ballistic missiles. Each battery can control dozens of missiles in the air at once, allowing it to defend against saturation attacks. This capability means that even highly advanced aircraft like the American F-35 or F-22 could face significant challenges in penetrating defended airspace without suffering losses. For Iran, deploying these systems around critical infrastructure, major cities, or nuclear facilities could create a protective shield that would force any adversary to think twice before launching an attack. Safety and survivability features are also a major part of the S-4 hundreds design. The system includes multiple redundancies to ensure it remains operational under attack. Its radars can switch between different bands to counter jamming efforts, and the launchers can move within minutes of firing to avoid incoming strikes. 
Batteries can be linked together, so if one site is destroyed, others can continue the mission without interruption. This network defense makes it far more resilient than older systems that might be neutralized with a single successful strike. Additionally, the S-400 can coordinate with short-range air defense systems, creating layers of protection that complicate any attempt to breach it. For the United States, this means that defeating the system would likely require a complex, multi-stage campaign involving electronic warfare, cyber attacks, and precision strikes before stealth aircraft could even enter Iranian airspace. One of the unique selling points of the S-4 Hundred is its claimed ability to detect and target stealth aircraft. While American planes like the F-35 and F-22 are designed to be as invisible as possible to enemy radar, the S-4, Hundred's advanced detection systems are optimized to spot even the smallest radar signatures. Whether it can fully neutralize stealth technology is still a matter of debate, but its capabilities are advanced enough to force changes in tactics. Another unique feature is its flexibility in missile loadouts. The S-4-100 can fire several types of missiles with varying ranges and speeds, allowing operators to match the right weapon to the threat. This versatility makes it effective against a wide range of aerial targets, from fast, moving fighter jets to slower drones. The cost of the S-4 Hundred is substantial, with each battery estimated at around one billion dollars. But for Iran, the expense is justified. Building and maintaining a modern air force capable of deterring the United States would require enormous resources and decades of development. By acquiring the S-4 Hundred, Iran gains a credible deterrent relatively quickly. The presence of these systems could deter adversaries from even considering airstrikes, which is exactly the strategic value they bring. From Russia's perspective, selling the S-400 to Iran strengthens a key al I while also challenging U.S. influence in the region. The big question remains, can America's stealth jets survive against the S-400? The answer is complicated. American aircraft are equipped with advanced electronic warfare tools, decoys, and long-range precision weapons that could help mitigate the threat. The United States could also use cruise missiles and other stan doff weapons to destroy the S-4, hundreds radars and launchers from outside its engagement envelope. However, none of these measures are guaranteed to succeed, and the presence of the S-4 Hundred would make any operation far more dangerous and expensive. The U.S. would likely need to commit significant resources, coordinate cyber and electronic attacks, and accept a higher level of risk than in previous campaigns against less capable air defenses. In conclusion, the S-4 Hundred dramatically alters the risk calculus for any potential U.S. air operation against Iran. While America's stealth jets remain some of the most advanced aircraft in the world, the days of uncontested air superiority are fading as systems like the S-400 proliferate. This does not mean that the F-35 or F-22 would be unable to operate, but it does mean that missions would require far more planning, coordination, and supporting assets than before. Iran's acquisition of the S-4 Hundred represents a strategic upgrade that could reshape the regional balance of power, making any conflict with the United States or its allies significantly more complex. What do you think? Could America's stealth jets penetrate Iran's new defenses, or has Russia's transfer of the S-4? Hundred tipped the scales in Iran's favor. Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more analysis on the shifting dynamics of global military power.